Hi boys and girls, we're here with another fairy tale today. This time we are reading The Princess and the Pea. Make sure you pay attention. So, The Princess and the Pea. It's adapted from the hands Christian Anderson and illustrated by Jeanette Stevens. Moving on. There once was a prince who wanted to marry a princess. So we see we have prince, princess, we have royalty, right? That is a characteristic of a fairy tale. According to his mother, the queen, she had to be a real princess. Very much like herself. Here he is wanting a real princess. And she's like, yep, she's got to be like me, the queen. So they travel all over the world to find one. Here they go with all their animal friends. There's even a panda. They travel to the east. A real princess can play soft music on three instruments at once, said the queen. This princess is too noisy. <laughs> That's the princess, and she's playing all these, and she's like, you're too noisy and needs to be soft. Looks like this queen is kind of picky, right? They travel to the west. A real princess can skip, skip across the lawn without bending the grass, said the queen. This princess is too clumsy. <laughs> they traveled to the north. A real princess can take small, dainty bites and never ask for seconds, said the queen. This princess is too greedy. They travel to the south. A real princess can dance with the grace of a swan and on the head of a pin, said the queen. This princess can't possibly be real. They don't just make princesses like they used to, said the queen. So at last, the prince and his mother returned home. The prince was so sad that they were unable to find a real princess. The queen was mad and disgusted. Everyone looks sad, like, oh, we gotta go home. We needed to come home with the princess and now we don't have anything. One evening, there was a terrible thunderstorm. Rain poured down and a great wind whistled through the town. When the storm was at its worst, there was a knock at the palace door. The old king went to open it. Uh-oh. What's going on? There goes the palace and there goes that storm. What does that represent? It's like lightning, right? Standing there was a princess. She was soaked in water spilled out of her shoes and sleeves. I am a real princess, she said. You are? They asked. Then you must meet the queen. When the king introduced them, the queen started to laugh. <laughs> How can you be a real princess when you look like that? She asked. But I am, said the visitor. Well, my dear, it's very late. Stay for the night and we can just discuss it in the morning. She said, you can't be a queen. Look at how you look. The queen had a plan. She hurried to a guest room and stripped the mattress from the bread. She laid one single pea on the bed. 
Then she took 20 mattresses and piled them on top of another. So on top and on top and on top and on top. She piled 20 feathers, feather beds on top of the mattress. Now the bed was ready for the princess. This is how it looked. This is where you go, you're going to sleep tonight, said the queen. The princess was very tired. I'm sure I'll sleep well on many mattresses and beds, she said. She climbed slowly up to the top and lay down. Good night, said the queen. I do hope you sleep very well. She said, look, here is your bed. That would be hard to climb up of. The princess settled down into her bed. She rolled to the right and then she rolled to the left and she lay on her stomach and then she lay on her back. No matter how hard she tried, she could not find a comfortable position on the rocky bed. What? In the morning, the queen said, did you sleep well? No, said the princess. I tossed and turned all night. My body is covered with bruises this morning. The queen gasped. Oh, you didn't sleep? You must have felt the pee that I placed on the bed. You are a real princess. Only a real princess would have such delicate skin. She could feel a pee through 20 mattresses and 20 feather beds. So the prince married the princess. The entire kingdom was invited to the wedding. Oh, wait. I don't think I showed you this one. She said, I didn't sleep all night. <laughs> that pee, it just uh, it messed me up. So the prince married the princess, and the entire kingdom was invited to the wedding. Oh, look at them. They're in love. Even the queen was satisfied. She was so pleased to find a real princess. So she put the famous pea in a museum where it can still be seen if no one has stolen it. And that's what proved to her that she was a princess. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.